it took me a while to finally get that first job and it took me a year after coding bootcamp to land it and seven years after college to finally get a job as a developer. Hello y'all, my name is Tiffany. Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time joining me, if you are coming back in, welcome back in, get comfortable, take a seat. For a second, let's go through this video. On my channel, I create content for new developers as well as job searching advice. And then I also talk about my life as a software engineer. So if any of that sounds interesting to you, make sure to hit the subscribe button below and join me where I put out another video every single week. I recently put out a video where I was talking about how I got my first job without having any coding experience. If you have not seen it, then make sure after you watch this video that you go and watch that one. I mentioned in that video that I would be doing an updated version of or how I started being a developer and how I got into the industry and all those things. So here is that video. I did my original video over this topic probably about three or four years ago. It was my first set of videos on YouTube. So I did like a whole series and the video was long at first. So I was like, let me just cut it up. So now I will not cut it up. Hopefully you will stick through to the end of it. So my, my experience of like learning about coding and then getting into like the coding boot camp and then finally getting my job um, is one that is specific to my story. So that's why I wanted to share it on YouTube to begin with because I'd seen a lot of people talk about three months and I got a job and I'm like, nope, wasn't me. Didn't that, didn't, didn't nope. That's not happening to me. So <laughs> I just wanted to share with you a different perspective, if you will. Let's start from the beginning. I was born, just kidding. <laughs> I started off in college as a business management major. Um, I said to myself, you know what? This is what we're gonna do, okay? We're gonna get a business management degree because I, my parents own their own business. And I said, well, what if I have to take over their business one day? Uh, it didn't happen, so, <laughs> but in either way, I was thinking if I have to take over a business, I should figure out how to run a business. So thus and such, my business management degree started. I went to a four year uh, university and throughout my time there, I was getting involved in different organizations uh, across campus. One of the organizations I was involved with, um, I had a, like a, we had meetings of course. And so during one of the meetings, I saw this lady like working on like something that looked cool. I'd asked her, hey, what are you doing? That looks kind of neat. And she's like, oh, I'm just, you know, updating the website. I was like, what? You can do that? And she's like, yeah. You know, we started chatting and then she found out I was a management major. And she's like, well, if you change your major to management information systems, then you can learn computer science classes as well. And then you too can create websites. I was like, get out of here. So she suggested I talk to a counselor at the university. And I went and I talked to the management information systems counselor at that time. And he was very quirky, but he was really nice. And what he basically told me was, hey, take a class at a community college because it's gonna be cheaper for the summer. And then let me know what you think, come back if you wanna continue forward with switching your major over to management information systems. I spent the summer at a local community college and I ended up learning C++ as my first coding language and I was like, oh, well, this is exciting. Like, hello world. I'm like, oh yes. I can create stuff now. You've, you've created a monster. So of course I went back, switched my major to management information systems. During that time, I was like taking computer science classes as well as business classes. That is structurally what my management information systems degree was. If you're interested in a video of me going over like the specific courses I took when I was in school, drop me a like below and let me know in the comments below as well if you're interested in seeing that and I will definitely make sure to get that out to you. But one of the things we did in the class, I will tell you right now, is data structures and algorithms. 
and I did not understand the importance of them when I was taking that course. I was barely making it through the course. I think I got a C and I just did not get it. I didn't understand what it was used for. There was really no context that I remember from it. It's just like, here's data structures and algorithms. And I'm like, wait, what? What are we doing? This is not like the other classes I just took where we were actually creating things. It was more like, actually getting into the nuts and, nuts and bolts of data structures and stuff like that and I had no idea why we were doing this. The disconnect was I didn't realize the importance of it at the time and I was just barely skating by. So if anything, that was one of my regrets of just not paying more attention in that class and really trying to understand it. Um, but anyways, Fast forward to graduation, by that time I had a couple projects that I did in school, um, a couple group projects I was working on within my computer science classes. I thought I was the bee's knees. I was like, listen, I'm about to go get me a job. I don't know what it's gonna have to do with. I don't know what I can get a job in, but we are gonna go in it. Um, and I, of course, with no direction and there, there wasn't really a ton of information, um, as far as I was concerned. So I was just like, I don't really know exactly what I'm gonna do. When I got out and I started to like apply for jobs and stuff, I kept getting rejection after rejection after rejection. And then I finally got a job um, working for a company and then I got laid off six months later. <laughs> and then I had to go on the job hunt again. And, I, and anytime I went on the job hunt, I was looking for a tech job, but I was not in particular about what job I had. I ended up landing a job at the life insurance company. And I spoke about this life insurance company in another video. I'm sure I've probably mentioned it a lot now, but I worked at the life insurance company. And uh, the first month I was there, I was like, this is not gonna be a long-term thing for me. I was like, I this was not gonna be it. I had had learned all the things I needed to learn about <laughs> about that specific role uh, within the first couple months and um, and I'm not saying everything about it but when it came to like the stuff that I needed to do on a day-to-day -day basis it was pretty much redundant what I was doing and so it didn't really take much to catch on to like okay I'm gonna have to do this thing every single day or every single week um I was like all right maybe I should look for another job now um and I did I tried for a little bit I'm not gonna lie I tried looking for jobs while I was at that job and nothing like tech jobs I was really like gung-ho about tech jobs but nothing worked out for me so I decided fine, I'll just stay at the life insurance company, I'll just be here, I'm gonna live my truth while I'm here, and I started to getting to know my, my coworkers and, and that sort of thing, and I really had an enjoyable experience, but I still felt like I was missing something, and so I decided, okay, let's 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 get back to coding how can i learn how to code so i was looking at treehouse and codecademy and solo learn so all of these resources started like coming up as i started searching more and more about how to learn how to code and all these other things all these resources came up it's so gratifying to be able to finally get out there and actually start coding. At this point, it had been a couple of years, but you know, after graduation, and um, you know, I had been out of coding for so long, and I didn't realize how much had changed. And so, um, it was really good first step to get back into it. After a few years being at the life insurance company, I said, okay, I was learning coding. I said to myself, man, if I had a full day of just sitting here and teaching myself code, I could probably learn a ton. And then, you know, I found out about code and boot camps. And at first I wasn't totally convinced. And then I said, okay, let me check out some reviews and cause that's a lot of money. So I was like, let me look at some reviews. Let me see all the information I could find on this subject. And I went and I started researching and I said, okay, okay. I told myself, listen, if I can apply and get in, then I will go. And so I ended up applying. I got rejected for like the um, the loan that they had and uh, through one of the loan companies that they recommended. And I said, oh no, I can't get in. So I had gotten through the interview. I had gotten through the um, application process. At this point, I just could not get the loan. My credit wasn't terrible but it wasn't like the greatest and so i was like oh shoot i can't get the loan and i also did not have 
a lot of loan and like I had like a student loan, but it was a very small loan from school. So I did not have a lot of credibility out there either. I got denied <laughs> and then uh, I sent them an email straight up said, hey guys, I can't do it because I got denied for this loan and I can't do it without a loan. And they said, have you tried this one? And I, you know, went and looked at it and I applied. Um, I think it was called Ernest. It was called Ernest. So I looked into Ernest. Lo and behold, I was able to get a loan through Ernest, which was nice. They approved me, I appreciate it. It was a two year loan and I was able to get that paid off and everything worked out fine. The coding bootcamp itself, I went to Coding Dojo and I was at Coding Dojo for three months. It was a three month coding bootcamp. If you wanna learn more about like typical day of coding bootcamp and, thing like, and things of that nature, I do have videos about like a whole coding bootcamp series on my channel in addition to like things about like typical days and stuff like that. So if you're interested in that playlist or learning more about that, definitely check out those links linked above and below for you to see. So if you went to a coding boot camp, let me know down below that you went to a coding boot camp. I find that um, it was a point where everybody was going to a coding boot camp, and then now I feel like people are doing more of the self teaching thing. Hey, I think whatever you choose is what you choose. I think that's great. You have to do what's best for you. So, but yes, if you did go to a coding boot camp, let me know down below. I did the coding boot camp, and I said it's good. I'm learning. It was tough but I ended up getting through it. And then I decided, okay, now it's time to find a job. So I, I decided, okay, let's go. So we hit the ground running and I had interviews and things seemed to be going well. And I was whiteboard, whiteboarding and everything else. And I thought, this is it, we're gonna get a job. And I did not get a job that quickly. So <laughs> the first job I got out of my coding boot camp was not a coding job. And in fact, it was not a job that I enjoyed very much. I was very much micromanaged at that job and I did not like it and it was not a good fit. Um, but later on, I was able to leave that job and and I ended up taking a teaching job. And so I ended up teaching kids how to code. And, um, you know, after that, I was, you know, once I got accepted into that, I also was interviewing to be a teaching assistant at a different coding boot camp. So I was like, okay, I got two teaching jobs. This will be fine. Um, I lived with my parents, so I didn't have a ton of bills. I think the biggest bill I had was my car note. So things might look a little different for you. So keep that in mind as you make your decisions about if you should go to a coding boot camp. And I do have a video about that as well if you want to check that out after this video. But um, anyhow, I taught kids how to code and then I also taught at the coding boot camp, and I was just teaching, teaching, teaching. And then I was still, you know, said, hey, okay, let me tried to like send out my resume again and you know anytime I got more experience underneath my belt I made sure to send out my resume again and you know just apply to different jobs I was able to land a job a couple months later as a web developer and so that was my first gig and I was like super excited about it I was like so pumped um, it was great and I thoroughly enjoyed it and um, for the time that it lasted because I got laid off from that job too I can't escape it. I I don't know. I guess I got like the layoff button on my forehead. I yeah. guess. If you are interested in a separate video of me going over my first developer salary as well as the job duties I had for that job, give me a like and then also let me know down below as well. And then I will make sure to get that video out to y'all because I think it might be beneficial for you all to see. If you have any questions or have any comments or you wanna talk about your journey, um, you know, let me know down below. Uh, anyways, thank you for watching this video. It took me a while to finally get that first job and it took me a year after coding bootcamp to land it and seven years after college to finally get a job as a developer. But I think it was because things were different back then and you know, there's so much more information about the tech industry now. So um, hopefully 
these numbers are not your numbers and you have better numbers than I do. The journey was well worth it and uh, now I have the skills and the knowledge and I, you know, to go to any level that I want to go to. So that's an exciting thing. So keep that in mind as you are going through your journey. Thank you for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Take care of yourself and be kind to others and I will see you in the next video.